hello everyone welcome to my channel today i'm going to assist you guys to download ps ps2 emulator to play games so that's what we are going to do so first of all we'll go to our browser from our browser we type google from that place we type ps2 emulator download you will pick this one download and you pick ps the playstation 2 emulator download for pc x x2 s2 you click download it will open so this is Windows, this is Linux, this is Mac, and all that. Uh, this is the things you will see. So first of all, you come to here. I'm using Windows machine, so I'll pick Windows. I'll click on it. It will open. So right now, this is it. B C X X two. So right now, we'll come and download pcs x2 so we come back here click to download now the software is now downloaded we have download it we are going to open new tab and search for Google when it's open. Then we will tap in PS2 BIOS. So we are going to download it for free. Room game for free. Without this, the PS2 emulator will not work. Without this, it can work. So it supports it to work. You click on it. This is it. PCS2 PlayStation 2 BIOS. You have a good rating and the number is also good. Then you click the download. So it will start showing. So here is it. I have finished downloading the BIOS software. So after downloading, after downloading, <coughs> you click and go to downloads. This is the things we have downloaded. So let's put it on the screen. Here's the things we have downloaded. So we have to run the software run the program so we click normal and press next so that we press yes we don't want we only want for we want the shortcut to be on a desktop and start main for me i don't want it to be if so i can click and remove it and click next. The program is and you click install. It has finished installing. Hooray, this is fine. So right now, and you click. We will have to extract the BIOS. Here. Here is the folder we have extracted. Now we'll click to open the software. So click next. We come to overwrite. Overwrite and click on it. 
all the list of program, the part, the everything will appear and press OK. For right now, everything is under control. Select a BIOS room. The first configuration. We need to set a bio rooms for it. So we have to click and remove this. To go in our program, we'll click here, browse. So we'll go to desktop. This is the BIOS folder. We'll click it to open. You copy, nothing will be there, but don't worry, it's going to work perfect. And you select the folder. After selecting, you will see it's been open. So click finish. Right now, you have finished everything. You are now having a system to work on. So this is it, this is it, this is it, this is it, and everything is now working perfect. Thank you for watching my channel.